Hi, welcome to this tutorial series on Spring IOC. This video is about the lookup method, which is the very important concept of Spring IOC. And I'm going to discuss step by step how to create a lookup method and what is the advantage we are getting from the lookup method and different bean scopes related to the lookup methods. So for bean scopes, I already created some videos. So if you have not seen my last couple of videos related to bean scopes, so please check those videos. I'm also giving the link for those video into description of this video. So let's get started. This project that I'm using for demo purpose. This is just a project management application. Here I have a simple project class with ID and name and comment class with ID and description. So I already created the test class where I'm getting the bean using application context and I already created the spring.xml file where I have a project bean with id project and the scope is singleton scope. So, so here I am actually getting the object using get bean method. So let's test the singleton scope first and then prototype scopes. So first I am going to test the singleton scopes how to use the singleton and then how to use the prototype then I will go for the lookup method so so here let's set some values to this project so let's keep a name as project bun project bun and let's provide some id to this uh, this project bean so let's say the id is 1 So let's run this class. So I think this is ID. Yep, so let's test it again. So we are able to set the ID and name. So since this object is singleton, so generally by default, all the beans that we declared into our XML file or a singleton if you if you have not given this let's say we don't have any scope here so this object is by default singleton so it means whenever we use the get bean so let's say if you if we have one more get bean here so let's say this is project one and let's print it out let's print the project one also so if we run this class, so we are getting same value for project one also, but we have not set any values here. If you see this code, we are setting value for project, but we are getting same value in project one. Why this is happening? Because of singleton scope. Because if we, we because this get bean, if we use the get bean. And if we use the object again using get bean, so and if the scope of that bean is singleton, the, it means the same object is provided to us. So if we use this get bean 10 times and the object is singleton, so it means same object uh, we are getting actually. So that's why the, the values are same for this object here. If you see the values are same. So if we make it as a prototype, so let's make it prototype. So let's let's check it again. So now it is null null because here we are getting a new object. We are not actually getting the same object. That's why it is it is null. So when you when we use prototype scope, so when we use prototype scopes, the object that we are getting from the XML file is newly created object. So, so that that's about the scope singleton and prototype scope. So now move to lookup method. So lookup method is generally used when we have a 
prototype bean inside a singleton bean so in in this in this file let's say we have one more bean so let's say we have let's create one bean here so let's say we have a bean so let's create comment bean with the class is com dot model dot comment so let's say we we are setting the injecting this bean here so to inject it here we need to first give it some name and then we need to use the reference tag to inject it and in our project class we need to create a okay it's already there so and let's make it as prototype and this should be singleton so what I'm doing here is I'm injecting the comment pin inside the project bean so I'm using setter, setter injection to inject it so in my project class I have comment instance variable and I have setter and getter methods so that's why I'm using property tags to set to set it using setter methods and this reference tag is referring to this bean and this bean is prototype bean so it means this bean should be created newly because it is a prototype bean so it means a new object will be created for this bean whenever we use the get bean so let's test it out so let's say so we are going to test the comment so let's create a comment object and we can get it from project and we can print it here and let's set some values to comment so comment we can set the description as comment 1 and let's provide some id to this comment so let's say the id is 1 and we don't need this ok let's print it out yeah so we are able to get the values for comment so our setter injection is working so let's get this bean again here and then let's print it again this comment bean so let's this the name is project bun so okay so here i have created one more object with using the get bean method and then for this object i am printing for project burn i am printing the comment so let's print it out so as as we see here we are getting same values to comment that we have provided here but this object is different this object is different and this object is different but we are getting same value for comment also since this project of bean is singleton but our comment bean is prototype if you see this bean is prototype but still we are not able to get the new object for for comment because because our project bean is singleton so it means whatever bean we create into our xml file those bean are by default singleton and then how it happen is generally you know, when the spring container load this file it, it create all objects with singleton scopes all bean with singleton scope and then if any of bean is declared inside a bean that bean will be created with singleton scope by default so to avoid this we can we have to use lookup method we can use lookup method to so that is the 
concept of lookup method so we using lookup method we can inject a prototype bean inside a singleton bean it means a newly object created will be created for prototype bean not the same object will be provided again and again so let's create a lookup to create a lookup method we first need to create this class as an abstract class this should be abstract class and we should have a lookup method here and this from this method we can return comments we don't need these these values so let's remove it and we don't need this one okay so we need to create the class with abstract and we need to create a method abstract method and we need to return that particular objects so so here we don't have to use property tag we need to use lookup method so this is the lookup method here i need to use name so name is lookup of the method and here we need to provide the bean so bean is comment that we are going to inject so let's remove it so here we have to use lookup method and here also we have to use lookup method so let's test it out okay so now we are getting a new object for comment here we are we are getting null null values so it means a new object is created while we use a get bean method so in this way we can use the lookup method property to inject a prototype bean inside a singleton bean so we need to create the class as abstract class and we need to provide a lookup method that should return the particular instance that we are going to inject so that's all for this video and in my next couple of video i'm going to discuss about other concept of spring ioc so thanks for watching thanks for your time bye bye